and we've got uh, Marianne Addy and Jordan Williams here uh, who, who are going to both play a part in this segment. Welcome. Uh, first you. and foremost, looking forward to, to learning more other than everyone knows the Girl Scouts sell cookies. Absolutely. And everyone <laughs> loves the cookies, but obviously it's much more to, to the Girl Scouts. Than that. So let's start with you, Marianne. Maybe tell us your position w within Girl Scouts All right. and then just a general yeah, for those that don't know anything about girl, I've got all boys, so okay. I really don't know uh, much about Girl okay. Scouts. So tell us a little bit about the Girl all Scouts right. in general. Well, I'm the Chief Marketing and Communications Officer at Girl Scouts Louisiana East. So that's the local council that covers St. Tammany Parish. We're 23 parishes. We are headquartered in New Orleans um, with an office in Baton Rouge, and we have three camp properties, um, Camp Covington, um, Camp Whispering Pines in Independence, and Camp Marydale, which is in St. Francisville. Gotcha. So. That kind of covers our area. Now, I mean, Girl Scouts, I mean, we're a leadership development organization for girls. So it's all about building girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place, which is why I wanted to bring Jordan to proof that, you know, we do um, wonderful things with girls and helping them gain life skills. Jordan, what is your, by your senior? Um, no, school, I'm right? a junior. Oh, you're a junior. <laughs> so you'll be a senior soon soon enough, but uh, mm -hmm. tell us a, a, a quick little bit of, of your story with, uh, with Girl Scouts. Um, well, currently I am part of a girl planning team, which is something I've been able to do through Girl Scouts, um, which is super amazing. I've been able to experience a lot of different things that a lot of other people can't um, see and like do in life. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I get to do a lot of different camping things and different things like that. Gotcha. And we'll jump back and forth. So uh, we'll go. I guess I don't. Know, I may be asking you a loaded question, but I think it's the daisies, right? You start as mm -hmm. a daisy, yep. uh, and you talk leadership, and I know that's a huge part of girl and boy scouts. How do you grab that daisy and and over time train them uh, to be a leader? Is it is it a, a does it literally start? From, from there and getting right well I mean it's it's a progression so you, our daisies are your kindergarten first graders so I mean they, they start by learning the Girl Scout law and the promise and some of those and they have earned pedals are based on um, different parts of the, of the law about being honest and fair and you know friendly and you know all of that information so as you progress you learn and get more experiences so you start going on field trips you um, start doing outdoor camping or which might start out by first going to a camp facility coming out doing it on a, on a daytime level before you actually will be outdoors I mean spend the sure, night sure, so sure. you know it's definitely about progression and, and you mentioned the camps let's, let's elaborate there's three I believe you said in, in this yep area mm -hmm. or, or in, in your district right. so to speak but when one local talk about the camps and maybe we'll jump what are the camps uh, there for okay we'll talk about maybe some well, of the experiences. well I mean one of the nice things about the camps is it allows us to have girls um, be outdoors year-round so we have resident camp programs during the summer which you know is very popular because you get to go overnight and and you know experience a lot of you know fun things whether it's canoeing hiking we have a uh, high ropes uh, uh, high ropes course, rock climbing, canoeing, you know, all of, all of those sorts of things that they can do. But during the school year, you know, our troops will come out and use our camp properties as well. Um, they, we also have a new program for um, our homeschoolers, so we invite families to come out during those, um, the week because we recognize that our camps are mainly used by the troops during the weekend so this allows uh, our camp to be kind of like an outdoor classroom so folks who might be interested in doing some uh, learning about um, nature and science activities can come out and enjoy our camps as well. Does the leadership part of this come from uh, from the education? I know there's a lot of team building. And oh absolutely. Some, or is it both? Is it, a, is it a mixture of all of that? Well I mean team building is a large part about Girl Scouts, we, we say that we want girls to discover their values and learn to connect with others, and that's really the team building portion, and then as well as take action. Um, so, and a lot of times that your, your high and your low ropes courses, a lot of those are, there's team building exercises you can do. Um, I really think even going to camp is all about learning to, you know, get along with your sister Girl Scout because you're in, you know, a camp together for a week and, and sharing, you know, a platform tent, that kind of thing. Would you agree? What's been the best part of that from you? How have you learned leadership? Um, a lot of different uh, camps will be able to lead girls, the younger girls. So um, as, as you get older, you get to be like a counselor or a counselor in training. So that's a big part. Well, of and the, I would think the younger girls, obviously, you're, you're a role model, whether you want to be. They're going to look up to you. So that's a, that's a big, so you do intermingle 
younger with, with the, the older scouts. Yeah, Jordan was telling me her troop is a multi-level troop, meaning that they actually serve different age levels, so the girls can, older girls do things with the younger girls. So how many scouts are there actually in this council? We serve about 13,000 girls. Um, is that, again, from daisies on up, or is that literal? Yeah, okay. that's daisies on up. That's kindergarten through 12th grade. Um, out of that 13,000, we probably have about 1,300 um, Girl Scouts in St. Tammany Parish. So we've talked a lot about leadership, but then, but then also you're looking at, at advancing skills and uh, technology, science. Obviously, that's huge yes. because everyone's going to have a job someday, and if you don't understand right. those... Uh, those components you, you might be like. So that, that's another area where you, you guys have an advantage of, uh, of giving someone a leg up on, on the competition, so to well, speak. Well, I mean, that's one of our, our four emphases, our life skills, um, science, technology, engineering, and math, um, um, financial literacy, um, as well as being outdoors. So we just came out with about 23 new STEM and outdoor badges for girls to be able to do robotics and engineering and all these really cool things. That's awesome. And so Jordan, you, we touched on this at the, at the top, you're going to a convention in October. So tell us about that convention and, and what you'll be doing and how you got there. Um, well, Girl 2017, that's the name of the convention, is um, one of the world, it is the world's largest uh, girl-led convention. Um, so basically there is a group of 21 girls in total, um, and I'm part of them, and we are planning um, this, this whole thing. So wow. yeah, girls is really um, girl leading everything and planning and kind of trying to get us into that stance of being able to take leadership and different things like that. So that's what we're there for is to plan this for all these other younger girls. How has it been so far? It has been a lot of fun. We've been able to, um, it, we're doing really well. We're almost, you know, it's in October, so we're kind of rolling things down, finishing things up, but it's, it's going to be pretty impressive. We are super proud of this at the moment. So. Gotcha. I, again, going back, I know when we're talking about um, scouting in general, outdoors, I believe it, Archery is a part of this, mm -hmm. I believe, right? Talk mm -hmm. about the, the various yeah, sports. Archery would be a sport. Uh, yeah. uh, that, that, uh, right. that, well, we have that, archery yeah. badges. We also have horseback riding. We have a horseback riding. Our, our camp in uh, Camp Marydale in St. Francisville has a wonderful equestrian center where girls, we actually have a Wrangler spur program where girls teach younger girls how to ride horses, So, uh, which is a tremendous way of, of also developing leadership skills. Um, you're hiking, you're canoeing, those are um, sports. We have a Thin Mint Sprint uh, here, like very close to y'all's office at the, at the um, St. Chamonix Trace in April every year. So we always just say, you know, hey, we, are, we do sell Girl Scout cookies, but we're also about being healthy. So we invite our families to come out and participate in the Thin Mint Sprint, which is a 5K, and we have a Daisy Dash, which is a one mile. Gotcha. So trying to, you know, keep people active. Girls, and children in general just are on their phones a lot. They are indoors playing video games. Um, and this is, it's really important to get girls outside active. You know, Away from the phone for a day. It, it's actually nice, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I remember that for like a, when I was 10, <laughs> before I And for adults became, too, actually. Right. I think we all need that. Absolutely, you should. I always associate, we think Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts, whatever, you think Pinewood Derby and those types mm -hmm. of things. Is there any... Uh, parallel event like like a, a Pinewood Derby for Girl Scouts? That We've that tried it. We've had a Powder Puff Derby. Um, it, it's usually been at the troop level. Some of our troops that have actually done it because I guess they see their brothers do it and they think, oh, that's something that I want to try. Actually, some of our new patches are about race car design patches. So I don't know exactly, you know, just it, the brand new, so I really don't know a whole lot about it, but that sounds very similar. Gotcha. So bottom line, how does somebody become a Daisy or a Scout? Uh, what do they need to do? Well, I mean, it's really super easy. If you go, if you can go onto our website, you go to www.gsle.org/join, and the information you just fill in your information. It'll um, show you uh, troops in your area, so you can actually click on the troop if you if you want to, or if you don't know. If not, you can fill out as much as you can, and then someone will contact you to you know make sure that we get placement. Um, because we really want to not only have girls join, but we really want them to be able to, um, you know, find a time that works for them, and, and hopefully we can get their, their parents and guardians involved as well as, as volunteers. Is it ever too late to become a Girl Scout? No, absolutely not. You know, you could be a Girl Scout. In fact, we have a new program called... I wouldn't be a good very No, good, very we good have called... It's called Man, en <laughs> Man Enough to be a Girl Scout, and it's a way of recognizing that father figures and, and male and communities, organizations are can really play a role in a girl's life. And so we have a, um, it's also a thing that, you know, for fathers and you've got sons, but 
it's a wonderful opportunity to get involved in Girl Scouts. That is good to know um, because I'm sure there are fathers that don't realize that. Yeah, absolutely. So, I say, I thank you so much for coming in. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Good luck with your thank convention. You. Thank you. And uh, I look forward to you're going to be famous someday probably because of this. So I knew, I knew you win. Uh, so thanks for coming in. <laughs>